Hermann Gunther Grassmann was a German polymath, known in his day as a linguist and now also as a mathematician. He was also a physicist, neo-humanist, general scholar, and publisher. His mathematical work was little noted until he was in his 60s. Biography Grassmann was the third of twelve children of Justice Gunter Grassmann, an ordained minister who taught mathematics and physics at the Stettin Gymnasium, where Hermann was educated. Grassmann was an undistinguished student until he obtained a high mark on the examinations for admission to Prussian universities. Beginning in 1827, he studied theology at the University of Berlin, also taking classes in classical languages, philosophy, and literature. He does not appear to have taken courses in mathematics or physics, although lacking university training in mathematics. It was the field that most interested him when he returned to Stettin in 1830 after completing his studies in Berlin. After a year of preparation, he sat the examinations needed to teach mathematics in a gymnasium, but achieved a result good enough to allow him to teach only at the lower levels. Around this time, he made his first significant mathematical discoveries ones that led him to the important ideas he set out in his 1844 paper referred to as A1. In 1834 Grassmann began teaching mathematics at the Gewerbeschule in Berlin. A year later, he returned to Stettin to teach mathematics, physics, German, Latin, and religious studies at a new school, the Otto Schule. Over the next four years, Grassmann passed examinations enabling him to teach mathematics, physics, chemistry, and mineralogy at all secondary school levels. In 1847, he was made an Oberlehrer, or head teacher. In 1852, he was appointed to his late father's position at the Stettin Gymnasium, thereby acquiring the title of professor. In 1847, he asked the Prussian Ministry of Education to be considered for a university position, whereupon that ministry asked Kummer for his opinion of Grassmann. Kummer wrote back saying that Grassmann's 1846 prize essay contained Commendably good material expressed in a deficient form, Kummer's report ended any chance that Grassmann might obtain a university post. This episode proved the norm, time and again, leading figures of Grassmann's day failed to recognize the value of his mathematics. During the political turmoil in Germany, 1848-49, Hermann and Robert Grassmann published a Stettin newspaper calling for German unification under a constitutional monarchy. After writing a series of articles on constitutional law, Hermann parted company with the newspaper, finding himself increasingly at odds with its political direction. Grassmann had 11 children, seven of whom reached adulthood. A son, Hermann Ernst Grassmann, became a professor of mathematics at the University of Gießen, mathematician. One of the many examinations for which Grassmann sat required that he submit an essay on the theory of the tides. In 1840, he did so, taking the basic theory from Laplace's Mécanique Céleste and from Lagrange's Mécanique Analytique but expositing this theory making use of the vector methods he had been mulling over since 1832. This essay, first published in the collected works of 1894-1911, contains the first known appearance of what are now called linear algebra and the notion of a vector space. He went on to develop those methods in his A1 and A2. In 1844, Grassmann published his masterpiece, his Die Lineal aus den Ungslehre, ein neues Feig der Mathematik, The Theory of Linear Extension, a new branch of mathematics, here and after denoted A1 and commonly referred to as the aus den Ungslehre which translates as theory of extension or theory of extensive magnitudes, since A1 proposed a new foundation for all of mathematics. The work began with quite general definitions of a philosophical nature. Grassmann then showed that once geometry is put into the algebraic form he advocated, the number three has no privileged role as the number of spatial dimensions. The number of possible dimensions is in fact unbounded. 
Fernley Sander describes Grassmann's foundation of linear algebra as follows. Following an idea of Grassmann's father, A1 also defined the exterior product, also called combinatorial product, the key operation of an algebra now called exterior algebra. In 1878, William Kingdon Clifford joined this exterior algebra to William Rowan Hamilton's quaternions by replacing Grassmann's rule of pep equals zero by the rule of pep equals one. For more details, see exterior algebra. A1 was a revolutionary text too far ahead of its time to be appreciated. When Grassmann submitted it to apply for a professorship in 1847, the ministry asked Ernst Kummer for a report. Kummer assured that there were good ideas in it, but found the exposition deficient and advised against giving Grassmann a university position. Over the next ten odd years, Grassmann wrote a variety of work applying his theory of extension, including his 1845 new theory der Electrodynamik and several papers on algebraic curves and surfaces, in the hope that these applications would lead others to take his theory seriously. In 1846, Mobius invited Grassmann to enter a competition to solve a problem first proposed by Leibniz, to devise a geometric calculus devoid of coordinates and metric properties. Grassmann's geometrische Analyse gen von der von Leibniz von den geometrische Charakteristik was the winning entry. Moreover, Mobius, as one of the judges, criticized the way Grassmann introduced abstract notions without giving the reader any intuition as to why those notions were of value. In 1853, Grassmann published A Theory of How Colors Mix. It and its three color laws are still taught as Grassmann's law. Grassmann's work on this subject was inconsistent with that of Helmholtz. Grassmann also wrote on crystallography, electromagnetism, and mechanics. Grassmann set out the first axiomatic presentation of arithmetic, making free use of the principle of induction. Pino and his followers cited this work freely starting around 1890. Lloyd C. Kannenberg published an English translation of the Ausdenungslehrer and other works in 1995. In 1862, Grassmann published a thoroughly rewritten second edition of A1, hoping to earn belated recognition for his theory of extension, and containing the definitive exposition of his linear algebra. The result, die Ausdenungslehrer, weil Standergunden strenger Form berberitet, the theory of extension, thoroughly and rigorously treated, here and after denoted A2, fared no better than A1, even though A2's manner of exposition anticipates the textbooks of the 20th century. Response in 1840s, mathematicians were generally unprepared to understand Grassmann's ideas. In the 1860s and 1870s various mathematicians came to ideas similar to that of Grassmann's. But Grassmann himself was not interested in mathematics anymore. One of the first mathematicians to appreciate Grassmann's ideas during his lifetime was Hermann Hankel, whose 1867 theory Der Komplexenzalentsystem developed some of Hermann Grassmann's algebras and Hamilton's quaternions. Hankel was the first to recognize the significance of Grassmann's long-neglected writings. In 1872 Victor Schlegel published the first part of his system Der Ramlero which used Grassmann's approach to derive ancient and modern results in plane geometry. Felix Klein wrote a negative review of Schlegel's book citing its incompleteness and lack of perspective on Grassmann. Schlegel followed in 1875 with a second part of his system according to Grassmann, this time developing higher geometry. Meanwhile Klein was advancing his Erlangen program which also expanded the scope of geometry. Comprehension of Grassmann awaited the concept of vector spaces which then could express the multilinear algebra of his extension theory. To establish the priority of Grassmann over Hamilton, Josiah Willard Gibbs urged Grassmann's heirs to have the 1840 essay on tides published. 
A. N. Whitehead's first monograph, The Universal Algebra, included the first systematic exposition in English of the theory of extension and the exterior algebra. With the rise of differential geometry the exterior algebra was applied to differential forms. For an introduction to the role of Grassmann's work in contemporary mathematical physics see The Road to Reality by Roger Penrose. ADH acute MAR Jean-Claude Barre de saint Venant developed a vector calculus similar to that of Grassmann which he published in 1845. He then entered into a dispute with Grassmann about which of the two had thought of the ideas first. Grassmann had published his results in 1844, but saint Venant claimed that he had first developed these ideas in 1832. Linguist Grassmann's mathematical ideas began to spread only towards the end of his life. Thirty years after the publication of A1 the publisher wrote to Grassmann, Your book Die aus den Lehrer has been out of print for some time. Since your work hardly sold at all, roughly 600 copies were used in 1864 as waste paper and the remaining few odd copies have now been sold out with the exception of the one copy in our library. Disappointed by the reception of his work in mathematical circles, Grassmann lost his contacts with mathematicians as well as his interest in geometry. The last years of his life he turned to historical linguistics and the study of Sanskrit. He wrote books on German grammar, collected folk songs, and learned Sanskrit. He wrote a 2,000-page dictionary and a translation of the Rig Veda which earned him a membership of the American Orientalist Society. In modern Rig Vedic studies Grassmann's work is often cited. In 1955 the third edition of his dictionary to Rig Veda was issued. Grassmann also discovered a sound law of Indo-European languages, which was named Grassmann's Law in his honor. These philological accomplishments were honored during his lifetime. He was elected to the American Oriental Society and in 1876. He received an honorary doctorate from the University of Tübingen. Citations and References Citations carrot tr. The Ruler's Extension Theory, a new branch of mathematics. Carrot tr. Expansion Plant Teachings. Carrot tr. Outer Product. Carrot tr. Combinatorial Product. Carrot tr. New Theory of Electrodynamics. Carrot tr. Geometric Analysis Linked to the Geometric Characteristics Invented by Leibniz. Carrot ABC Vasilevich Prasolev 1994. 46. Carrot Hankel Entry in the Dictionary of Scientific Biography. New York. 1970-1990. Carrot Row 2010. Carrot Lind Wheeler, Josiah Willard Gibbs. The History of a Great Mind, 1998 reprint, Woodbridge, C.T., Oxbow, pp. 113-116. Carrot Penrose The Road to Reality, Chapters 11 and 2. Carrot Vasilevich Prasolev 1994. 45. Primary Sources A1, 1844, Die Lineal Lehrer, Lehrer, Leipzig, Wiegand, English Translation, 1995, by Lloyd of Cannenberg, A New Branch of Mathematics, Chicago, Open Court, 1847, Geometrische Analyse Genepfende von Leibniz von den Geometrische Charakteristik. Available on quad.lib.umich.edu, 1861, Lehrbuch der Mathematik für Hohe Lehrernst Dalton, Band 1, Berlin, Enzlin, A2, 1862, Dials der Lehrer, Wahl Stander Gund in Strenger Form Begrundet, Berlin, Enzlin, English Translation, 2000, by Lloyd of Cannenberg, Extension Theory. American Mathematical Society, 1873, Waterbuch zum Rig Veda, Leipzig, Brockhaus, 1876-1877, Rig Veda, Leipzig, Brockhaus, Translation in two vols, volume, one published 1876, volume, two published 1877, 1894-1911.
Guess am Melta Mathematische und Physikalische Werke in 3 Vols, Friedrich Engel ed. Leipzig, B.G. Kuebner, reprinted 1972, New York, Johnson, Secondary Sources Crow, Michael, 1967, A History of Vector Analysis, Notre Dame University Press, Fernley Sander, Desmond, 1979, Hermann Grassmann and the Creation of Linear Algebra, American Mathematical Monthly 86, 809-17. Fernley Sander, Desmond, 1982, Hermann Grassmann and the Prehistory of Universal Algebra, AM, Math, Monthly 89, 161-66, Fernley Sander, Desmond, and Stokes, Timothy, 1996, Area in Grassmann Geometry, Automated Deduction in Geometry, 141-70, Ivor Gratt and Guinness The Search for Mathematical Roots 1870-1940, Princeton Univ. Press, Roger Penrose, 2004, The Road to Reality, Alfred A. Knopf, Petcher, Hans Joachim, 2006, Grassmann, Basel, Berghauser, Petcher, Hans Joachim, 2009, Hermann Grassmann, Biography, Transel, by M. Minnes, Basel, Berghauser, Petcher, Hans Joachim, Kannenberg, Lloyd, Kessler, Gottfried, Lisko Vatska, Joe Lanter, 2009, Hermann Grassmann, Roots and Traces, Autographs and Unknown Documents, Text in German and English, Basel, Berghauser, Petcher, Hans Joachim, Lewis, Albert C., Leeson, Jug, Russ, Steve, 2010, From Past to Future, Grassmann's Work in Context, The Grassmann Bicentennial Conference, September 2009, Basel, Springer Basel AG, Petcher, Hans Joachim and Peter Lenker, 2010, International Grassmann Conference, Hermann Grassmann Bicentennial, Potsdam and Schittessen, 16-19 September 2009, video recording of the conference, 4 DVDs, 1659-25, Potsdam, Universität Verlag Potsdam, Rowe, David D., Debating Grassmann's Mathematics, Schlegel vs. Klein, Mathematical Intelligence of 32-41-8, Victor Schlegel Hermann Grassmann, Sein Leben und Sein Worker on the Internet Archive, Schubring, G. ed. 1996, Hermann Gunther Grassmann, Visionary Mathematician, Scientist and Neo-Humanist Scholar, Kluwer, Vasilevich Prasoliv, Victor, Problems and Theorems in Linear Algebra, Translations of Mathematical Monographs 134, American Mathematical Society. ISBN 9780-8218-0236-6 Extensive online bibliography, revealing substantial contemporary interest in Grassmann's life and work. References each chapter in Schubring. Parola Cantu. La Mathematica da Scienza del Grande Zara Teoria del Form. Las Denungs Lera di H. Grassmann, Mathematics from Science of Magnitudes to Theory of Forms, The Os Denungs Lera of H. Grassmann, Genoa, University of Genoa, Dissertation, 2003, XX plus 465. Hermann Gunther Grassmann was a German polymath, known in his day as a linguist and now also as a mathematician. He was also a physicist, neo-humanist, general scholar, and publisher. His mathematical work was little noted until he was in his 60s. Biography Grassmann was the third of twelve children of Justice Gunter Grassmann, an ordained minister who taught mathematics and physics at the Stettin Gymnasium. Set out in his 1844 paper referred to as A1. In 1834 Grassmann began teaching mathematics at the Gewerbeschule in Berlin. A year later, he returned to Stettin to teach mathematics, physics, German, Latin, and religious studies at a new school, the Otto Schule. Over the next four years, Grassmann passed examinations enabling him to teach mathematics, physics, chemistry, 
and mineralogy at all secondary school levels. In 1847, he was made an obelera, or head teacher. In 1852, he was appointed to his late father's position at the Stettin Gymnasium, thereby acquiring the title of professor. In 1847, he asked the Prussian Ministry of Education to be considered for a university position, whereupon that ministry asked Kummer for his opinion of Grassmann, where Hermann was educated. Grassmann was an undistinguished student until he obtained a high mark on the examinations for admission to Prussian universities. Beginning in 1827, he studied theology at the University of Berlin, also taking classes in classical languages, philosophy, and literature. He does not appear to have taken courses in mathematics or physics, although lacking university training in mathematics. It was the field that most interested him when he returned to Stettin in 1830 after completing his studies in Berlin. After a year of preparation, he sat the examinations needed to teach mathematics in a gymnasium, but achieved a result good enough to allow him to teach only at the lower levels. Around this time, he made his first significant mathematical discoveries, ones that led him to the important ideas he saw.